Hey guys, welcome back to American Made RC. I don't really know if you can hear me or not, but this is my new Jado 3.3. It is a nitro powered car. I'm running 20% nitro gas on it. I bought it used. She's fast. You want to take her out for a test drive? Because I know I sure do. Let's go. I got my fuel here. In case I run out, let's get some run time in. Hi right, guys. Today I'm using my hand, I, my tripod, I forgot where it was us. So let's go get some run time in here. Turn my receiver and stuff on and should be good to go. Get this turned on here. I'm trying to reach right there, there we go. There we go, I turned her off so I can make sure you guys could hear me. Know how loud, loud you talk. She's quite the fast one here. I love the smell of the nitro. Don't know if I should really be uh, smelling it or not, but. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna go find my tripod. I'll be right back with you guys here. There's my little takeoff for you guys. Let's get some more run time in here. Move you guys out here so you can see something. See me racing up and down the road here probably. Not gonna lie, guys, this thing is fast. That was only about half throttle. I can get about seven minutes on a tank of gas. Now, this does have the Traxxas 3.3 nitro engine in it. It's got a uh, two-speed transmission. So once you get over a certain speed, it switches gears automatically. I'm gonna get you guys at a different angle and give you some other shots. Guys, for a flyby here. That's the power she's got there, boys. Got a car coming here. Gotta get, get out of the way for him. Look at her just smoking. God. It's only two wheel drive, too. Oh, we had a wreck, but we landed it. Let's see if any there's any damage done. I'll shut her up. Let's shut her off and get a look at it. As we're looking at it here, I don't think I see any uh, severe damage other than the body body's already broken uh, it did have a wing on here at one point you can see uh, one thing I do want to I need to get some new drive shafts this thing does kind of wiggle and it's not supposed to this is what it's supposed to do barely wiggle yeah front wheels are run on bearings not that 12 millimeter hex uh, let's see look at the undercarriage kind of scraped up again I bought it used I, I couldn't uh, 
couldn't have passed up the deal for the price. One of these brand new is about $500 and I bought this one. I had, I got a bunch of spare, a uh, bunch of spare A-arms and uh, a bunch of other spare parts and I couldn't have just passed up the price. I paid $200 for it. Um, one thing, a couple things I'd like to do, new body, drive shafts. Let's have a look under here for you guys. Pull these body clips off. She is a little dirty. Give her a little cleaning every once in a while. It's got disc brakes. Air cleaner. Most of the time she starts right up. I'll have to get the uh, the easy start. It's easy start. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. It's got the uh, the uh, turnstile shocks. I don't know if you guys can see that. Turnstile shocks instead of the uh, spacers that you can put in there. So, alrighty, I'll show you how easy this thing is to start up. One thing I forgot to mention today: Michael is not with me helping me film this video anymore. Uh, he, he's still helping with YouTube and helping me with, uh, create these videos for you guys. Cause we, we enjoy it a lot. Um, it's just something that we want to do for you. Uh, give you guys some, some entertainment. Um, and yeah, let's get this thing started. Well guys, about the only things you need to start this are the vehicle itself. Traxxas is easy start. Sticks right in there. Sticks right in that hole there. Easy start in the remote first things first always turn on your remote first turn on the electronics this is what allows you to steer and it it's got it controls the uh, steering throttle servo right there then basically stick this thing in there she has been running for a little bit now so she'll start she should start up real easy but let's see oh yeah there we go starts up real nice and easy and then you you got your gas and your steering. Alrighty guys, do a little bit more of an overview and show you what this thing's about. Looking at the car here from the front. Oh hey, look at that. Maybe we did have a little bit of an accident. Hopefully it won't hurt none. If it does, just I get a new one. No big deal. But uh, this is what it looks like. I'm sitting on the ground right now, just enjoying this beautiful summer day. Spring day. Sorry about that. Spring. It doesn't feel like spring, but it is. We, heck, we've had a lot of a lot of snow in the past few days, but as you can see, it's all gone. Believe it or not. I, I mean, it's here one day and it's gone the next. So turn this stuff off here the uh all the electronics are run off of four AA batteries the uh easy start is run off a traxxas six cell i believe i can open it up for you here it's quite easy it's just a rechargeable battery yep traxxas six cell uh 1800 milliamp it's not bad i i i, I don't like recharge having to recharge it i would rather uh have it I don't know what I was trying to say there, guys. Sorry about that. But, uh, anyways, I, 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 I love this car. I mean, if if I were to sell all of my vehicles, I think, and uh, later down the road I wanted to start back up again, I think I would start with Nitro. I mean, they're just, they're fast, little, fun little cars to work on. And it's so identical to a real vehicle that, you know that and that's that's something that i enjoy is working on these types of things whether it's electric or whether it's gas powered i i like working on this type of stuff and uh who knows maybe i'll be getting another one in the in the future but one other thing i wanted to talk about was my uh my rustler that i have i uh i will i may or may not be trading that in for a uh emax that's uh it's the older one it's the uh the dual brushed brush system uh four wheel drive it's got some uh rpm a arms in the rear um and i, I may i may be tr uh, trading my uh, rustler for that i'm hoping i'm hoping i'll get to do that and 
I think that thing would be a lot of fun to take out and just do speed runs with it. I mean, and even off-road with it. So, alrighty guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. If you subscribe and you like all of our videos, hit the like button down below. Also, let us know, seriously, what you guys want to see. We, we enjoy your feedback and your comments. We don't get very many of them, but when we do, we enjoy, we enjoy them and enjoy commenting back on them. So, alrighty guys, that'll be it for today's video. I'll get one more takeoff for you here and we'll see you guys in the next one. Let's get her started up here, guys. You got my uh, electronics on. Just stick this right in here and...